Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. And I'm off work and it's glorious. <laughs> I actually just got out of the shower because I've already worked out today. I got up this morning and did my workout so I could get it out of the way and then have the rest of my day to do whatever I want without feeling like I need to work out still. Um, so I just got out of the shower after doing that and I'm going to eat breakfast. I think I'm gonna have cereal and I might make French toast because it sounds really good. And um, then I got to get out and run a bunch of errands. I'm meeting a couple of friends for lunch and um, my whole day is booked and busy. So I'll kind of try to keep you guys updated throughout the day as much as I can, as I can. Uh, but as of right now, I am going to eat because I'm really hungry. Cereal, special K. I haven't had cereal in so long. That's why I really want some. And um, just kind of enjoy my morning and everything. Ian's already left for Albuquerque, so I'm here by myself until Wednesday. It's kind of sad. I haven't been by myself for a really, really long time, actually. I think he went on one business trip a while ago where I was by myself, but this is kind of different. It's, I don't know. You've been living with somebody for so long and then you're without them for a couple days. It's weird. <laughs> I'm gonna get off here so I can make my breakfast and I will talk to you guys later. What's up fam? I say that like you guys know that I have been gone since nine o'clock this morning and it is 5.25 now. I've been out shopping and getting last minute things for my trip and now I'm finally home and I don't have any time to do anything else I wanted to do at home because I've been out all day. Um, let's see, breakfast. I had cereal and four slices of French toast. Technically though, I made one batch of French toast and um, I didn't spray the pan so it all stuck to it so I had to like scrape it off and so I kind of like ate one of the pieces as I was cooking the better looking French toast. Somebody snapchatting me. And um, so I had that. After that I went and got coffee at this new coffee place near me and it was really good. Um, I kind of want to go back and get another one but I don't want to spend any more money. I've spent so much money today. And then after I ran around and did some things I went to Target, I went to Ulta. Um, I went and um, checked out Payless because they're closing, I guess. I didn't know that. Didn't see anything there. Spent all the time doing that stuff. Went and got lunch with a couple of coworkers, Sam and Nicole, the ones that I go and work out with, and got some really good food. It was a chicken burrito. I didn't finish it all, so that's good because that means tonight for dinner I won't feel too guilty eating what I'm about to eat. Um, there's a local taco place near me called In a Tub Tacos, and if you're from Kansas City, you know probably what I'm talking about, but if not, they're basically just really really freaking good tacos. So I'm getting that for dinner for my family and we're gonna watch Bohemian Rhapsody at my grandma's house and just hang out together and be a family. I haven't seen them in a while so I'm excited. Um, and then I'll come home and get ready for work tomorrow and I'm not looking forward to it but I only have to work Tuesday and Wednesday and then I will be done for the week. That I am excited for. I think I got most of everything I need now for my trip that I can think of um, besides some like little essential things like deodorant and heat protecting spray for my hair but besides that I think I'm good on everything else which is a good feeling. I'm just very overwhelmed and now I gotta figure out what all to pack and what to wear what days and figure out a workout plan for the gym there um, that I'm wanting to do since I do want to work out while I'm there. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking hopefully. I told the girls that we're walking because that's why we got a hotel as close as we did to um, downtown so that way we can do that. But um, I'm gonna get off here and cut Bowser's nails because he's going with me. He knows the G-O-I-N-G -G word. Now he's looking at me with big old eyes. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut his nails and I will talk to you guys tonight whenever I get home. Well, it's late. Bowser and I are getting gas before we head home. It's 10.30 and I need to get to bed as soon as I get there. So I'm gonna go ahead and vlog now while I'm thinking about it because um, I won't wanna vlog whenever I get home on my actual camera. So I'm just vlogging here on my phone, obviously. Uh, dinner was great. We got in a tub tacos and corn nuggets and mushrooms and I ate and was happy and I'm full and I won't wanna eat tomorrow or so I freaking hope 
It's been a real struggle recently going a whole fasting day without wanting to eat anything at all. So I really need to push myself harder, especially because I'm doing vacation this week. And I don't plan on fasting on vacation, but I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this already. Um, but yeah, dinner was great. And then we watched Bohemian Rhapsody and um, obviously it's over and I've just driven 30 minutes back home-ish to the area of my home. And I'm gonna go inside and wash my face and go to bed because it's gonna be 11 o'clock by the time I get in bed and I'll get a whole six hours. It's gonna be great. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and check in with you guys and let you know how this evening went. I'm really tired, really tired. Hopefully I can make it through tomorrow, okay? Work-wise. I will be pretty distracted when I get home. I have a lot I have to do still. <sighs> I'm never not busy. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. I just want to say it was super weird getting this morning without anybody else in the house. I could be as loud as I want. You turn on all the lights. Definite flashbacks from when I was single. Or living alone anyways, I guess. Oh goodness, I have 134 emails to go through this morning. It's gonna be a long day. Fasting one, coffee, water. A lot to do when I get home. I need to make a list now so I don't forget what all I gotta do. Not too much else to talk about so far this morning. Feeling a little meh about my body, but my abs are sore from the workout I did yesterday, so that's it. I'm gonna get off here and uh, I'll talk to you later. I am in the process of trying to leave Walmart area, which I am accomplishing. Yeah, I just left Walmart and it's like the snow apocalypse because we're supposed to be getting bad weather overnight again. Gee, money Christmas, it has not been this bad in the winter time and so freaking long and I think everybody's forgotten how to um, survive it like me because I honestly have no freaking clue. <laughs> um, I'm on my way home though with some groceries and stuff. Um, I got off tomorrow so I actually I only worked one day this week which is really nice and so I'm gonna have all day tomorrow to do everything that I need to do. Um, I have packing and um, cleaning and just all kinds of things that I'm overwhelmed with trying to figure out when and how I was going to do them before um, my trip. So I have all day tomorrow now, which is nice. Currently right now I'm trying to fight the urge to eat just because I want to eat, not because I'm hungry. I haven't been hungry all day, which is a really good feeling. I feel like when I get home and start doing things, I should, you know, get over that. Um, I'm wanting to make some things tonight. I think I want to try to make some um, banana nut things and stuff like that. I don't know. Not nut because I don't really like nuts on my banana nut bread and oatmeal and stuff like that. Kind of just like eating nuts without them being in anything. <laughs> and so I'll probably do some baking tonight, do some cleaning, kind of uh, figure out what I'm all wearing for the trip and uh, just kind of hang out and relax now that I won't feel so overwhelmed because I have all day tomorrow to do things too. <sighs> yeah. Today was pretty good. I mean, I made it through the entire day. I only had one cup of coffee, which is surprising. I thought I was going to have to have two, um, but I did not. So that's a, an accomplishment in itself, but I'll probably have something whenever I get back home. I don't know. I did pick up some energy drinks and some sparkling waters um, from the store, but it, it won't be cold whenever I get home, you know. Anyway, I'm almost there. I got to get inside and let Bowser out so he can bathroom put my groceries away and then just do stuff I'm excited about it I'm really excited for my trip <laughs> it's gonna be great I'm super stoked I will um, talk to you guys later tonight at some point so tonight I basically got a whole bunch of baking done I baked muffins and I baked these um, banana bread bar things that I want to take to Nashville with us and um, I ended up eating the leftover zucchini stuff that I made the other night the zucchini um, stir fry it was 120 calories for the stir fry okay guys so I'm not too mad at myself for eating but I am mad at myself for eating because I didn't want to eat tonight but I also didn't want this food to go to waste. So it's always a dilemma with me because I'm like, I have this food in here, I don't want it to go to waste. I'm a little hungry, maybe I should just go ahead and eat it. So I did. And then whenever I was putting the banana bread bars away, um, one of them broke in half and I had 
half of it to try it. So I estimate I had about 250 calories tonight. Um, after calculating everything, I also ended up um, having a coffee with a little bit of um, cashew milk in it. I did eat, unfortunately. But with it being half of my 500 calorie limit, I'm pretty sure I walked 250 calories off today on the treadmill, so I'm not too upset about it, but I am upset about it. You know how it goes, my life. I decided for a vacation, I do not want to count calories. That's gonna be really hard for me to overcome just because I try to count calories so often. I just wanna be really mindful about my choices that I make. Um, I've already looked at the menus of the places that we want to go to, and I think that if I maybe just splurge on one meal every day instead of splurging every meal, I'll feel a little bit better about myself. Um, it kind of just depends on what I feel like when I get there. I wanna be able to experience everything that I can in a new place and um, We'll see what that means whenever it comes to food, so I don't know. I'm super excited though. Tomorrow is our last day before we go. Um, Hannah and Rachel are going to come over tomorrow night for dinner. Probably going to make macaroni and cheese and chicken fingers because for some reason that sounds really good. I'm weird, I know. I'm going to get off here guys and go to bed because I'm tired. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning of course. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, obviously. I'm in the process of getting ready to start cleaning things. And um, it's gonna be a busy day, so hopefully I can be pretty distracted and not overeat today, because it is my eat day. I have a lot to do, packing and cleaning and organizing and figuring out outfits to wear and all this stuff, so it's gonna be really busy. I'll show you guys what we got last night, which was not really a lot. It looks really cold out there, though. Um, I do have to get out at some point today, but I'm going to wait to do that until later, I think, whenever the roads are more clear, since it's only 7.47. I don't know how to sleep in. That's Bowser's fault, I guess. <laughs> uh, like I said, I have a lot to do today. i got to work out at some point. I want to look up certain workouts. I think, I told you guys this already, maybe not. I want to start focusing on doing more high intensity interval training. Um, I've been doing some more research on it and I've seen people say that that is better at losing stomach fat than just doing plain cardio. So like running on the treadmill, which I enjoy running. So I still do want to continue doing that, but I think I want to start doing high intensity interval training every other day on my workout. So I already work out every other day. So it'll be like Monday, I'll work out and do high intensity interval. Wednesday, I'll do my regular workout without the high intensity interval. And then Friday, I would do my workout with the high intensity interval, if that makes sense. I think I kind of want to alternate it like that so that way I can get it in every other day with my every other day working out because I know it's not um, exactly the best to do high intensity interval training too often because you need to give your body some time to rest and I'm already working out a lot as is, so. I'm gonna look up some stuff on that and see what I can find. See if I can shed off the last 10 pounds or so from my stomach and um, get down to my goal a little faster and easier. I feel like I need to be doing more um, strenuous type exercises like that, I think anyways, you know, really get my heart rate up and moving um, besides just the cardio that I do. So kind of what I'm wanting to look into. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here though because like I said a minute ago, I have a lot I have to do and um, I wanna get started on it, so. I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you later. Let me tell you guys, if you can't tell by my hair, <laughs> this day has been crazy. I have been up early, I've done breakfast, I've done lunch for breakfast. I had a muffin, a banana oat bar, and a pear and it was delicious. High in calorie, but delicious. And I was pretty full up until about 30 minutes ago and I um, this morning also made some uh, seitan for the first time. And so I made like buffalo seitan bites for lunch with some light ranch and had that. And um, now I'm really full and I have to still pack and stuff. My day has been pretty fun filled. I've been cleaning. I have to clean the kitchen here now really quick before I go into the bedroom and start packing stuff. I'm really hoping to get in a workout today. I need to get one in because I know I'm not working out tomorrow. We're gonna to be in the car for so long 
And with me eating today, I would feel better if I could just get in some type of a workout. I think my friends are gonna be here around 7.30 and I'm making, uh, the plan is macaroni and cheese with chicken tenders because for some odd reason that sounds really good to me. So I'm doing that for dinner. And I just, I really want to work out so I'll feel better about eating. I got out and did some shopping, last minute shopping done, and um, got stuck at the end of my driveway coming back in. And that was fun. Um, basically, the snow plows have plowed so much snow into the driveways that my car got stuck. And I was out there for like 45 minutes digging out my car with my little ice scraper because we don't have a shovel. And the one that we do have, that's Ian's parents, is in his car, which is parked at the airport, which is about an hour away from us. So it's been fun. <laughs> I need to get off here so I can get going and finish doing other stuff and things that I gotta do. Um, but I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Mom and I got raising canes and then we just watched the TV like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when we almost went to bed without signing out with this week's vlog or anything. Yikes. My bad, guys. It's also 12, 12 in the morning on um, Thursday. I did a workout. It was a pretty good workout today. Um, kind of a high intensity interval training workout with a high intensity interval training run, which was nice. We got stuff done. You know, it was shorter than usual, which is weird, but um, I definitely am feeling it now. So there's that. My hips are really bothering me now. I'm not sure if it's just because of any of the slow walking I've been doing at the mall or walking or what, but um, yeah, they hurt. I probably need to stretch. After that, showered, started packing my stuff, and then my friends came over that are spending the night. Rachel and Hannah, you guys have seen them on my vlog before, um, for our Nashville trip. I made dinner of like chicken tenders or whatever and um, macaroni and cheese which was really good didn't really count my calories but i know that i definitely hit my tde today um my stomach's bothering me now it's just really like i'm really full i think is my issue and so now it's like hurting <laughs> i didn't eat that much either which is kind of weird but food was good you know um and then uh we just packed all of our stuff and we're gonna go to bed and to get up tomorrow morning for Nashville. I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be a good trip. So I hope you guys enjoy the next vlog because it's gonna be my entire trip basically on that one um, little fun time in Nashville. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out this week's vlog though. No dawdling around this time just because I need to get to bed. So um, thank you so much you guys for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm sure you'll see some fun Nashville stuff. <laughs> and I will catch you on that vlog. Does that make sense? I'll catch you on the next vlog. I like that ending better. <laughs>